Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How Do You SAR? This is video three, and today we're talking about the oscillators. So load up a default patch, and let's navigate to the middle left-hand side where it says oscillators. So let's play a note, and let's increase this first knob here. This is noise level. We're going to hear some of that noise, and we can see it up here as well. Pretty straightforward. So next up, we have Seek sync frequency so if we click on this little light to turn this knob on it's going to sync our oscillator to an unheard oscillator so another one and as you notice once we get to the octave since it's one octave above what we're playing it's almost difficult to hear exactly what's happening because it's so perfectly in sync but if we change it just a little bit we're starting to hear that difference and we can see that quite a bit here So definitely cool sound. Let's turn this back down, let's turn this off, and let's talk about the subsaw. So by default, your subsaw will be all the way down. Here's the level for it on the left-hand side. And as we raise it, you're like, it just sounds like it gets a little louder. And that's because by default, this octave is at zero. So as we change the pitch here, So pretty self-explanatory, that's the pitch here. And here's also the phase. So there's times where if you have phase cancellation in a patch, something's just not sounding right. Maybe you wanna play with this phase because this is gonna be in relation to your main saw. So definitely a handy knob to have right there. Next up we have the detune. So if you're gonna detune these by a little bit, you can definitely do that. Put a little bit up here so it's a little more easy to hear. And then also over here we have retrig. So this is basically going to re-trigger the saw way or the, the sub saw at the same phase every single time. Kind of similar up here. And then if we want to invert the phase of the uh, of the subsaw or the polarity technically. And we can see the waveform changing down here in the bottom right. And the next, if you don't want to saw, if you want to square for the uh, for the bottom, you can definitely do that by clicking this little latch right here. It has a very cool sound to it as well. All right, that concludes this video for the oscillators. The next one we're gonna talk about this filter section. Stay tuned for that one.